Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So, I am doing a pickup video. Uh, a little bit of a, well, let's see, it mostly is. It's all charity shop pickup. Uh, some of this stuff goes into the collection. Some of this stuff will be traded into CEX. Simple reason I say trading into CEX now. If you've watched my videos before, you would have known I had the huge piles of DVDs. They're all gone now. Uh, was thankful that I'd done a boot sale about two weeks ago now and shifted a hell of a lot of them, if not all of them, with a few left. Uh, so what I'm down to now is pure stuff for the collection that is in my collection. So a few Blu-rays, my games, a lot of loose tubs, etc., which I need to sort out still. This side still needs to be sorted out. I'm still picking stuff up, but I'm being very selective in what I'm picking up now. Uh, I say that and I've got three full bags of stuff however i've got three bags for life just here and in those three bags for life so far i'm up to 360 pound in trading so what i'd get back in trading uh, a lot of box sets some of those box sets for example uh, two completed uh, box sets of sopranos which are going and guys this stuff has not cost me total spend in the two bag in the two and a bit bag so far so 360 pound trading and obviously they have to go for everything they have to make sure they can take it all but i've worked it out around the 360 mark uh i've mostly paid no like mostly about 20 to 30 quid i don't think it's any more than that uh it would have been bundles i was picking up you know you've got things in there like the pc uh lord of the pc lord of the ring games and guys i've kind of played around with the lighting this week so i'm hoping i'm hoping i've got that lighting i've got massive Ring, I call it the ring of death because it reminds me of the Xbox when you've got the ring around it. Uh, and I call it the ring of death because sometimes you get, if you can see it, you get a little reflection of the ring on certain products that are in plastic. Uh, but I hope it's a little bit more lighter in there now. But yes, back to this. So you've got things like that in there. You've got things like full seasons of, uh, full collection, sorry, of Danger Mouse. What else have we got in it? Loads of Blu-rays. Only Fools and Horses box sets. Uh, so you can get where I'm going with this. A lot of it's more DVDs, not stuff that I'm not going to appreciate. Uh, I don't really want it. A lot of it now you can kind of stream or I can get it off of YouTube, etc. So I'm trying to build. I was trying to build up that CX pile for a while. Kind of got inundated with the seed, uh, the DVD CDs, and the pile was just building in the background. It's time for that pile to go. I've got a few bits from this charity shop pickup that I've done. That I'm going to add to that to no doubt get it over the four hundred pound mark. Then I'm going to CX, getting it all in. And I'm more than likely going to take the voucher and try f another couple of CEXs around me, but do more retro slash gaming pieces where you get the free statues. Oh, wait, well, nothing's free. Nothing's ever free. You get the statue, so it's a limited edition where it's statue and game. Uh, a little bit more pricey. But let's go through what we what we picked up because there's one thing on there. And I'm going to start with this straight away, guys. I'm going to start with this one because I was bloody excited to find this. this. This is me all over. And you can see I'm getting a little bit giddy, get a little bit excited. So... It was in the charity shop going through bits and pieces. One of the pieces they had, this was going in the bin. It was going in the bin. And when you see it, you'll be, yeah, actually, they wouldn't know nothing about these. They would just put them in the bin. So I'm looking down at a bag and I'm like, oh, okay, what's that? Oh, that's all That's all going in the bin. Uh, and it's Hamley's. Hamley's catalogue. So for the London, Croydon, Bath and Birmingham. Yep. Oh, it's on the back here, the stores. Book of Toys sports and games so straight away i was like oh what year is this because we don't really see a lot of catalogs anymore and the later the better because it means i can go back i can look at some of the retro goodness we had as we were growing up and the year was believe it or not christmas 1985 so i took it straight away and i was like oh i've got to i've got to have this how much is it no just take it it's free it was going in the bin uh, no one wants that kind of stuff i was like well yeah i, I believe people do I love to go over this kind of stuff. And you can see on the pages that we have in here. Uh, and I know you're all eager. We want to see the toys. We want to see the toys. I'm moving a little bit closer. Uh, so, oh my God. I only went through a couple of pages and thought, wait till I get it home. But you've got the Care Bears. The Care Bears. This is, I will take time to go through this myself. Uh, you got the early learning bits and pieces. But I remember some of these as a kid. So I remember, you know, your parents would buy you the office, the post office. And you'd think you're a cashier in one of those places. You used to be able to get to supermarkets as well. Uh, but I'm just, I'm going to go through it pretty quickly, guys. And I might just go through it and then take some, oh my God. Uh, sorry. And then I might, it's the first time I've gone through it in detail. There's a lot of decent books as well. Uh, 
I didn't see some of this stuff in here. It's even got the mail away form in there. How cool is that? Uh, but this is like the party bits and pieces that they used to sell. I'm going to keep that mail away form in there. I didn't see this in there, but books, books with cassettes. So Wurzel Gummidge, He-Man, Masters of the Universe. Look, let's just show this. Let's just show this. I will take some pictures and put it on my Instagram as well. Uh, you just don't see this. 1985, and I've just come across, and I've just come across this today. This was picked up today. Game and Watch from Nintendo. Uh, but I like going through this stuff just to see if there's anything I think actually I had that. How have I forgotten about it? You know, Crystal Barbie. It, it's 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 mind-boggling. Rainbow Bright. Look at that. But I saw it and I did say, before I even looked in it, I said, look, if it's going there, I'll take it. Uh, so you know how good the 80s was and how big, obviously we know that Stranger Things is based in that, but you could see how big Dungeons and Dragons was. You can see some of the base sets and some of the sets that were there. Uh, 9.95 you were paying for this stuff. I didn't even look at the, uh, how much it was that you could buy this stuff for. Uh, let's see what other games they had around there. Dinosaurs, Lost Valley, Care Bears. Ghost Castle, Mr. T. Oh my, this is bringing back some memories. How much was Ghost Castle? Ghost Castle, brand new, $7.99. And Hamley, sorry, was most probably expensive back in the day for picking up bits and pieces. Uh, there's a lot in here and it will take me some time to go through, but I thought I would just show this off because this is like the retro goodness that I'm after. There was some toys in here. Let's see if I can find the toys quickly, because I saw the toys and I was like, oh, that's the main reason I wanted it. I quickly flicked through it. I did find some toys, and now I can't find any. But you know there's toys in there, because it's a... Uh, I want to see, like, the He-Man. I'm, I'm assuming 85 would have still been He-Man. Maybe some Star Wars. You know, what have we got here? X-Troopers, X-Terminators. Uh, and who doesn't remember? You'd have some kind of themed little playset like this. He-Man... Uh, or a caravan or a carnival but you can see some of the bits and pieces in terms of toys they got there i don't think we're going to get like the argos bits and pieces golden girls you've got in here a teams in here right okay we've got a couple but yeah i didn't even realize they had a uh, little catalog but i will go through this and just see if there's any can't find anything else i was expecting to see some he-man i think it's a little bit too early for ghostbusters to be fair it might have been even have been too early for He-Man, because I can't see, they've got a few, not really, I'd say kind of your uh, Transformer knockoffs or low low end Transformers. But yeah, I can't see anything. I was hoping, see, oh, there's my little Japanese robot that I had, that I actually passed it on to Theo at Slimehouse. I can see it in there. See, it's, it's amazing to see this stuff. Amazing. Oh, here you go. Guys, I'm wrong. He-Man is in here. Right, another one that was big at the time. DC. Uh, was it oh, was it Super Friends or Super Powers? But you've got the DC ones here. You've got He-Man underneath. You've got G.I. Joe slash Action Force that we would have had. And it is Action Force. How, how much was he back in the day? Six ninety nine. So we know... $6.99. This guy is very, very hard to find now complete. $6.99 you would pay for him in the box. Uh, you know, Hot Wheels. Here you go. And this is what I meant about these little playhouses that everyone would have had back in the day. Uh, so you had them themed. This is bringing back some memories. I don't want to get too wrapped up in this, but it's brilliant to, brilliant to find something like this. Uh, I'm putting the order form back in. Brilliant to find something like this. Uh, it was going to go in the bin, and rightly so. I don't think anyone would put catalogs out in a charity shop. Uh, but, no, that's me all day. So I always do that. And then in terms of pickups for, to for today, so that, that catalog was picked up today. This first bag is what I've picked up today as well. Uh, just going out on hunts, picking up a few bits and pieces, as you do. Uh, quite a bit for trading, and some Blu-rays for myself. So firstly, Blu-ray. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Raw Deal. For the bundle, how much did I pay for the bundle? So PlayStation 3 games that I've got in, in here, I had to pay £1 each and they charged me £6, which was a little bit, I thought I was going to get free for £1 because it's, it's the deal they've got. But they're like, oh, they've just gone out. We want to charge a little bit more. So I was like, right, okay, that's fine. I'll pick a few of them up. And then 
the Blu-rays. Let's just get here. So, do do do. So I did have six. So it's six six pound. And then I paid three pound for this lot. So they just done a bundle here, and then six pounds for the games, which I don't mind because I've done all right on the Blu-rays. Uh, and a lot of these Blu-rays will be going to CEX. I don't know enough about them, but they trade enough in for about two pounds. So I thought right as part of the bundle, there was seven games. Sorry, there's one here. So as part of the bundle, pick this up. Uh, this DVD. This one is sealed. And I think these ones were going for about £2 each when I checked online. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I will double check them and then put them in there. Uh, there you go, another one there. The Hunter. And then this one, I believe, was about £8 or £12. But it's one of those, like, Eureka. It is a Eureka. Blu-ray slash DVD. I believe that was eight pound trading. Uh, so again, that's pushing it, pushing it right up. Uh, raw deal. I'm keeping. I'm keeping up myself. That go in my collection. And then again, another movie CD. But I will keep this one. Uh, Casino Royale. It's a brilliant, brilliant movie score. And I don't have it, so that's going in my collection. And then again for trading, I believe these trade. For some reason, I want to say it's six pound each. I might be wrong. Uh, but Wurzel Gummidge, and that is Wurzel Gummidge C Series 1, 2 discs, Series 2, 2 discs, and then a cup of tea and a slice of cake, which is a special uh, DVD on there. And it says Region Zero. Don't know what that means, but they in CEX it was saying £6. And then there is this one as well, Volume 2, which is Series 1, Series 2, Series 3, and Series 4. And I believe that was the same. Uh, the case is a little beat up on this one, so I'm not too sure if they'll take it. But they're going in the CEX bag. They go in here to go. And then the other one, CEX, I believe this was going for £4. It was part of a bundle that I paid £3 for. Uh, Sophia and Steel. Sophia and Steel. So that would be going. So Simon won six episodes on one disc, eight episodes on another, and six on another disc. So that would be going. I don't know anything about that. I'm assuming it's a 70s programme. Uh and don't beat me up if I'm wrong about that, because it could be 80s, and it may be, I'm just getting old. Uh, so yes, Blu-rays are definitely going to CEX. I'm not keeping any of those ones. See, I'm being good now. I'm, I'm shipping it straight out. And then games, which are just going to a PS3 box for me to go through a little bit later. Uh, that's the receipt for the £6. No big deal on these. Uh, but this one trades in for a bit of money, so I might just trade it in straight away is the Harry Potter. Yeah, it's good. It's got no marks on it as well. Uh, Harry Potter Deadly Hollows Part 2. I think it had a £6 trade-in. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. That'll go. That'll go, because it's not for me. I won't play it. So that'll go. These ones, however, I'll be keeping just to go through. So, yeah, I don't really see these kind of... I want to see, like, the... Kind of made me... Kind of think, like, I want to say, like, Dungeon-y, Dragon-y kind of role-playing games where you've got to kind of work together as a team. Uh, Dark Souls 2. And then Prince of Persia. Is it in there? Yeah. Prince of Persia. Brilliant movie. Brilliant movie. Uh, really did like it. But yeah, picked that up as well. And then, oh, I left two here. So I picked up Sonic the Hedgehog. I haven't got this one, uh, weirdly enough. And then another Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, not too sure what he's trading for. It's got no booklet, uh, which is gutting because it usually comes with a map. But we'll see what happens. That might be getting traded in. So I will leave these down here. So that's the first bag done. The greatest thing out of that for me has got to be the Hamsley uh, catalogue. You just don't see them anymore. And this is quite a big one as well. I think I pay... So there's all separate prices on this. So Because I picked up some bulk. But I, I don't pay any more. If I'm picking up a load of stuff... Because uh, I'm in there all the time. They usually just say three or four pound. It, I don't pay much for the stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's go through these because there was there's bits of different charity shops. Uh, I should have sorted this out beforehand, guys. But it's fine. We'll get to it. Let's just go through the stuff I've got. So this was just thrown in as part of the bundle, and I need this for myself. I, I'm assuming it still works with the new iPhones, but a well travel adapter kit. Everything's in there. It says it sells for twenty nine pound. It doesn't matter. I need this. Uh, I don't have it myself. And I always need this because I always struggle for those kind of bits and pieces. Uh, that was a boot sale find from the other day. That's because I've used the same bag. Where's the boot sale bag gone? Over there. Now, in terms of DVDs I picked up, and they need a little bit of a clean. Some of these 
well, most of them are going into the collection. So I've never seen, and I've always wanted Hulk Hogan in the, I want to say early 90s, done a hell of a lot of movies like the Suburban, was it Suburban Commando? Uh, Secret Agent Club, there's a few. And then I think you had like guest appearances like The Undertaker in one of them. But they're bloody hard to find those DVDs. You just don't find them in the UK. So when I went into the charity shop and I saw the Secret Agents Club, there you go. Hulk Hogan, I thought I've got to have that. Uh, so I, I did buy that as part of the bundle. Uh, I don't even know what that trades for. I mean, let's check it quickly. I've got my phone on me. Let's check it what that actually trades for. It might be nothing, but, uh, and I won't be trading it, I'll be keeping it because you just, I, you can't find these movies on Netflix or any digital piece. But those kind of ones, sometimes they demand a little bit more money. Uh, like Freaks. Freaks is another brilliant movie. I knew it won't scan. Oh, look at me. I'm bigging it all up like Hulk Hogan movies and that. And it's only worth one pound. But it's worth more than one pound in my heart. So that's going to go into my collection. I didn't even know CX already sell it as well. But I've never seen it. So I picked it up. That's gutting. Uh, another brilliant movie that I like. I'm going to say horror. But horror to me means different things. Uh, people put a horror label on anything now. And it could be like to me it's more comedy than horror but uh, let's say a little bit horror -y. it's scary it's not too scary for me it's not scary to me anyway but i just love the concept and the kind of walking dead vibe about it but it's to do with vampires instead stake land two so i have stake land one a brilliant movie and not a lot of people know that they made a number two and i have been struggling to find it on dvd slash at a boot sale or a charity shop uh, and i found it i will watch this I've, i have seen it uh, before it's got the same cast in it as well uh, it's a brilliant movie brilliant movie i love the concept so i picked up when i see them i pick them up it seems to be something i find all the time the sonic the hedgehogs and mario uh, mario and sonic olympics and then cannibal uh holocaust so i don't really see this i think this is the movie that got banned uh, one of the horror movies that got banned i don't even know if it's a pirate or a really good copy in terms of what it is uh, I'm not going to go into too much in terms of what it's about. Uh, you can Google it or look at it on YouTube. In no doubt they've got some, uh, oh, got some trailers on there. But yeah, I don't. I've never seen that. And it was just sitting in a charity shop. Strangely enough. Uh, so yes, yeah, we've got that. And then the next bits I picked up. So I've done pretty well at the car boot sale in terms of Harry Potter bits and pieces. I did sell to another reseller who was there, who I got on really well with Retro Fusion. Uh, and we catch up, every time we catch up, I have a good chat. He's a really, really nice uh, guy. And he walks around with his uh, missus looking for bits and pieces. Uh, yeah, I think he, he's a superb guy, super friendly as well. Uh, so when I was there, I had, at the boot sale when I sold, I had loads of Harry Potter books. I know they go for a bit more money, but I just literally sold him the whole lot for a quid eight, uh, for one pound per book. Uh, then, then, there was loads of books there. I've just been picking them up as and when I see them because I see a hell of a lot, especially in the charity shops I go around. And the same happened again. And if he's watching, uh, I did say that I'm just going to put bundles aside for him. And I literally just doing the same deal. I usually pick them up for either 75p, 50p each. I'm not looking, I don't really want to make money on it. I know obviously uh, Lee does this as a kind of business, I guess a living. So I'm, I'm happy if I find it and it's the stuff he's into and I find quite a bit of it. I will uh, let him have it at a reasonable price. Uh, but yeah, Harry Potter books. So 75p each, you can see there. They are first editions as well. So, And sadly enough, I don't, if he doesn't want them as well, I can I can always just get rid of them at a car boot myself. But the person on this one's put in there, brought July 21st, 2007, first day of issue. Uh, which is strange that they put that in there and then they've just given them away. Uh, I say give them away, give them to a charity shop and not held on to them because they obviously fought quite a lot of them. But they've all got at the bottom like first uh first issue first edition uh so yeah so i've picked that one up i think i picked them all up guys uh first edition of uh the order of the phoenix and it was strange because i remember these books coming out i was working in store at the time so in a supermarket a big supermarket which had these books and i've got all the pos slash advertising for the order of the phoenix so i've got everything it's all in a loft I don't know why I chose this book, but for me, this is, I was watching them all, but this is when the hype for me, this is when everything become massive in terms of every retailer, major retailer, getting involved, opening up at midnight, because I remember I was in at midnight to launch these books off, get all the pods out, 
and we in the supermarkets i remember we used to we used to get the books a week before they'd go on sale a week and we had to keep them in a locked up cage and i i kid you not the amount of people that were more than likely suspended uh from the place i worked for trying to take the books and there, there was an instance uh, we never found out who'd done it and i can still i can share these stories there's nothing in it it was years ago uh, where someone got the got the books took the books took like six books and they were in the local second hand like kind of like your kind of cash converter shop up the road and they were selling the books literally four days i think before they come out and they had 150 on them and the shop got closed down because they found out what it was they said they'd gotten from uh, the store and oh geez that i remember that caused a lot of issues because if jake is it jk or yeah it is jk isn't it yeah jk they find out the the books are on sale you're in big big trouble uh big big trouble because you sign all kind of paperwork to keep these books and make sure you keep them on the lock and key so it's interesting it brings back a lot of strange memories but good memories as well not st not opening a store up at midnight though to sell these kind of things uh the same with call of duty i remember buying all the call of duties because i was going through that age i loved it i had the buzz for getting up at midnight getting harry potter books i wouldn't say so much reading them it was more getting a moment i'd leave and be like yeah i've got that and then you get some special cards with them or something but i was able to get the advertising from my work because what happens with the advertising is it goes in the bin so all kind of your marquees you know your cardboard cutouts everything used to go in the bin and the only one i really concentrated on was that order the phoenix i took everything they said i could have well they said i didn't take it they said i could have everything so i took it all home and uh, yeah got all the like posters etc just strange that i concentrated on that and harry potter obviously it's a massive brand uh, and has a massive following so yeah sorry guys let's stop going on so another first edition there as well half-blooded prince uh another one with the goblet of fire let's see if this is definitely first though i'm more than certain it is no this isn't first sorry this is like i think 16 i'm assuming it's 16 because of the way the numbers are where it's got 17 so i think it was the first three of those were first and then that one and then these earlier ones I know these are like ones that come out and I've actually got two of this one. So two Prisoner of Azkaban. You've got Chambers of Secrets and then that's definitely a reprinted one of the Philosopher's Stone. So I am starting to put a pile together again for Retro, I want to say Retro Fusion. I hope I'm getting that right, but Lee, uh, he, know, he knows and no doubt he'll comment in the comments below. Uh, and then the other games I picked up from there. So... I know there's not a mass, it's not mass amounts of money, I don't think, in Gears of War. But what an absolute kick-ass tin that it comes in. Uh, and I thought, you know what? I'm getting this. I'm absolutely getting this. So it says, Gears of War, just the game. And then Gears of War, limited collector's edition, bonus disc. So it's got that, and then it's got a little book in it. It's got a little book inside as well. Uh, and then the instructions, but... Yeah, you know me, guys. Anything like 90s wise in terms of comes in a tin, uh, shiny, foily, chrome looking. You know, the 90s person inside us is like, I've got to have that. Uh, and hence, some of my collections like that. It's the artwork for me that stands out, or the colours. And then two other games I picked up, Wii Wise, so Rayman, uh, Raving Rabbits, and then the Carnival game. So I do like these kind of games where everyone gets involved on the Wii. Right, so now we get down to the book bundle. This was a brilliant, brilliant bundle. Sorry, I'm out of, I'm out of the shot at the moment. But this was a two pound bundle, which I could not turn down. And some of the books I don't know if I even want. I didn't go through them all, but guys, they were inundated with books and magazines. They were doing bundles. Two pound, two pound for a bundle of books. Uh, now, I didn't really look through the comics, but the first comic to me. Look like it's, which had the price on, looks like it's lost its colour. Because uh, I don't remember the web of Spider-Man being this colour. I might be wrong, guys, and that might be the colour of the comic. I wasn't really into the web of Spider-Man, but I thought for £2 for the bundle. And the thing I hate as well, I should have took the sticker off straight away. Uh, let me see. But I'm going to take it off now. But this is the thing, I guess, instead of them giving them to, I don't know, a book person who comes around because i know i know some charity shops and especially this one i'm going to they do they've got deals with like uh, certain big companies uh, nationally which come around and they've got any books or magazines they put them into sacks and then i think that company gives them two pound a sack because of the amount of books they get in uh so if they can get cash for it there and then and bundles two pound for a bundle two pound uh but yeah web of spider-man 
Uh, I need to go through some of these Spy uh, Spider-Man Star Wars comics because some of them are quite desirable in terms of money and some of the characters. The Star Wars Legacy there, so I need to look at that one. Secret Invasion, absolutely love it. But you can see what I'm saying about some of the colour looks like it's gone on them. Uh, yeah, another Spider-Man there. New Avengers. Secret Invasion. Sabretooth. And this is where I say the colour. I knew the colour was popping a bit more than this. Or it might not be. It just might be how I remember it. But this, I had this and I sold this at the time. Because uh, it's going for mental money. This variant of Marvel Zombies in issue one. So I've got the original... The, sorry, in terms of the first print, the standard cover, this was the fairing, and I had one. And at the time, it was going for quite a bit of money, so I sold it. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you've not read uh, the Marvel Zombies, and I, I believe Disney Plus is bringing out a TV series on it. Uh, but what a comic, and you don't even have to have, to have read any other comics. <clears throat> it's literally the Marvel Universe has been uh, overrun. Most of them have been turned into zombies now as you can see on the first page, and it starts off kind of with Magneto. You've, you're thinking Magneto's the last person standing, and he's got obviously his powers, he's killing the zombies, he takes Captain America's shield, uses his powers and just slices off heads, which you can kind of see here. Uh, but it gets into where some of them get bit, then Magneto gets bit, let's see who gets bit by, because I remember all this. Uh, yeah, look, he, ta he takes most of the Avengers heads off with Captain America's shield. It's brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, oh, it's the wasp. It's the wasp who gets him. But yeah, this it goes on. I think it's like five issues. Uh, and then you see at the end, in terms of they're kind of eating everyone. They don't know who who else to eat. And then all of a sudden, for issue two, Silver Surfer turns up, and it isn't looking like the normal Earth he remembers. Uh, and all all they say is, mm, "More food." So yeah, if you haven't read that series, definitely well check it out, and no doubt. Uh, the Disney Plus channel, uh, the Disney Plus TV show would be decent. Uh, and then in terms of other books that come with it, so Why the Last Man, and it's book one as well. I'm happy with this. Uh, this is obviously coming out as a TV show now, so that's part of it. This is quite new out, so uh, Marvel Comics 1000. Decent, decent. I brought the comic when it first came out. I believe it was retailing at £10 when you had to buy the comic, and I've ended up getting the graphic novel. World War Hulk, another brilliant series. And it's got What If World War Hulk as well on the bonus of that. And then this one, don't know anything about this. But uh, yeah, saw it in there. It's, weirdly enough, it's got some comics in here. Uh, I'll show you the front, but look at Doc oh, Art. It's got loads of different comics. And it's called Comic Aid. Don't know anything about it. It was in the bundle though, so I'm happy with it. So yeah, that was a bun £2 bundle. That's definitely, definitely worth the £2. Hence why my little hands were grabbing over it straight away. And then in terms of the last, last pickup, last pickups. Uh, and some of this, again, some of this is for trading. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, everyone's gonna go, wow, this is exciting. This is a really good find. I think for the, for the bag, because this was all in the same place, I believe I paid, I paid five pound for this whole bag contents in here. Uh, so Final Fantasy 10, 11, 12, DS, 12, however, no game. All the instructions, no game. Uh, I said, look, I'll take the case. I might find it. I might come across it. I know it's got good trading value. goes quite a bit, but I might try and hunt down the cartridge. Uh, weirdly, Red Dead. Red Dead 1, PlayStation 3. That just go in my collection. I need to go through my PlayStation 3 games. I have said in previous videos, I've got a hell of a lot of PlayStation 3 games behind here. About three layers of PlayStation 3. I'm going to go through them and just start filtering out uh, the doubles, the triples, uh, and Basically, just getting rid. Now, Harry Potter. Harry Potter, year one to six. And it's not even all of them. That's only up to the half-blooded prince. <coughs> oh, apologies, guys. I've got four of these already in my CEX pile. And I'll tell you why I've got four of these in here. Uh, you see them all the time. And the simple reason is I'm going to get it up on CEX. Because I was going to put pictures up. But I'm a little bit lazy with the editing, guys. They go for £9. Even better, I thought it was £6. But you can kind of see here. So that Harry Potter. See the trading? So if you wanted to sell it, they believe you'd get £18. £4 if you want the cash. £9 for a voucher. So, you know, easy, easy money. And with people saying, 
year one to six you might i might as well just get it i know i'll have a lot of comments saying scott you should sit down and take the time to sell it i just don't have the time uh with my work and everything going on it's easier far more easier and to be honest a little bit more exciting for me just to go into cex uh and do it and just see what i can get because i will i'm not one of those people guys i won't hang on to the vouchers i don't like hanging on to vouchers i will just spend everything uh because you'd know that i'd done this last time i went in and brought some game boys and i think i had like five pound left on the voucher i've lost the voucher i don't know where the voucher is so i like to spend everything in one go hence why i'm going to trade it all in this wednesday and then i'm taking the voucher straight to the other two stores and i'm just going to spend a lot i don't necessarily i was tempted to get a gopro i see a lot of people getting the new gopros now because i know cx has got the eight in i think you can pick up the eight for a reasonable price uh Given where I work, I get discount in certain stores, and I was going to pick one up from Argos, the GoPro 9. Uh, however, I've gone to GoPro site, and the GoPro 9, if you buy it for basically the similar price, they throw in a hell of a lot of freebies. Uh, so I'm going to buy it direct from GoPro, but I'm holding out just for another month because it looks like they're going to release the 10. And the 10, from the rumours I'm hearing, it looks a little bit better. But so, so far, I'm using GoPro 7, I believe it is. Is it seven? It did say it on there. Cause, yeah, seven. So this this seven, I will know that give to my brother. And I think my brother's going to do some footage. And you guys know, if you've seen some videos with him, he's got a huge collection. He wants to go out because he goes out and does his own stuff, but he wants to document it. And I might even do a little subfolder where I show some of his stuff. So I'll do the editing for him and I'll put some of his videos on the channel as well uh, and see how he gets on. And if it's stuff that he thinks he wants to keep up, he could do his own channel. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to upgrade. I am going to upgrade the camera. At the moment, it looks like it's going to be to the 9, but I'm just waiting for that 10 just to see uh, what everything does. So, and if it does that, I will upgrade to the uh, I will upgrade to the 9. And then the last few bits I've got here. So, in this bag, full collection and paying £5. West Wing. West Wing, full set. That would be going CX. I think it's about £12. I'm under calling some of these prices, guys, just to get through it. But I believe there's more trading. I believe I'm up to about, I'm mostly up to £400 now anyway. Uh, and then PS2 games that I picked up. So, you know, you've got your Manhunt. You've got your Warriors. The just quality games that I remember playing. So I picked all these up. Uh, they will just go into the collection. Uh, what a game. What a game. Punisher. I kind of forget that I picked some of these up. This was to be traded in. So from the kind of directors of South Park, he had an eight pound trade in. Uh, and it's where they've made their own movie, Cannibals, the musical, based on a true story from the creators of South Park. Their stuff's really funny. And the only reason I looked this up on CEX is you don't, I've not just not seen it before. So if I look it up and it had eight pounds, so that's going to CEX. Uh, it doesn't, not for me. And then the deluxe, because I don't have this in my Blu-ray of Casino Royale, and it's interesting because I picked up the CD today. But I thought I have that, that could go into my own collection. Uh, I think this is another one that may have gone for a little bit of trading, and I don't check this stuff until I get home. Uh, I just kind of take a pun on terms of what the uh, what the subject is, the matter subject, and if it looks like I've seen it before. And if I get it home and it's 1p, 2p, like that Hulk Hogan one, I either go into my own collection if I want it, or I just have to get rid of it at a boot sale, guys. The, that's how it goes. I just start making my pile. So, yeah. So, none on none online in CEX. £5. So, I hope you can see that. So, £5 trading. Sells for 10 Go to straight CEX. Sealed as well. It's going to CEX. And then the last big boy item that I picked up. Uh, and, guys, this is quite funny. I need to go through these box sets. Friends was part of that deal as well. Another Friends box set. Now, the reason I say Friends, these, these trade in for a little bit. Not as much as what you'd like to get for a full box set. And... One of the best TV shows, I guess, of my generation. I'm not saying best TV show ever. I know we've got Only Fools and Horses, but I guess from my generation, on a Friday night, Friends. Very close between this and Buffy, actually, for me. I was a huge Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan. But let me show you what I've got here, because I don't know if you can see it, but I'm now on. Hence, I need to go through every box set. I'm now on three Friends box sets. Uh, which I have and I have to go through. But the trading value is there for me, I believe, on these. I'm going to check now quickly. Uh, but the trading value was there when I last checked. You never know with this stuff because it always gets put on Netflix, Comedy Central. Uh, so you, some stuff tends not to hold its value when it's there. So seven, it's, you can get a £7 voucher, £15 trading. I'm only, it's not even, given how much I'm paying for bags, if it's £4, £3, the box set's not even going to keep me in a quid. So I'm not even a quid in with the box set. So some of these are just go to CEX. 
Uh, but I've got three there. I need to go through and make sure every disc is there and they look clean because that's going to be an absolute balls ache for someone at CEX to go through. So I will do that. And then finally, guys, there's something I missed off my last charity shot video that I wanted to show you guys because I was like, oh, I really picked these up because I was changing everything around. But there was a few other pieces that I've put aside uh, which I picked up. And that was these beauties. So uh, lady in the charity shop was like, oh, I've just put fresh games out and she's put some toys out. So I went over to the games. There wasn't much there. Didn't pick them up. Went over to the toys. These. Five pound for all of them. Pogs. Absolute pogs. And these are the original cases that I remember as a kid. These are like your third party cases. But they are full to the brim with pogs. Uh, slammers in there. Metal slammers. Plastic slammers. So I picked these up. Paid the five pound. You've even got the Walkers Tazo in there. Slammer. Uh, but yeah. There you go. Pogs is hot. So you've got loads of slammers as well. And for £5, I was like, you know what? I will buy these. Pogs are starting to creep up a little bit in price. A lot of other toy channels, toy collectors talk about Pogs. Uh, it's got a huge following because it's a massive craze from the 90s. You think of Pokemon cards from late 90s, early 2000s. You think of trading cards, sticker books. Pogs was up there. Pogs was up there as one of the big things when we were children, especially in those later 90s. Uh, so... That's everything I've picked up. That's my charity shop pickup video. Stay tuned though for what I've got this week because I should be going, fingers crossed still, to pick up a toy collection tomorrow. Uh, I'm waiting for the guy just to come back to me now. And it's a fantastic story about how I got that collection as well. Because uh, it, I don't, you know, my persistence and fine levels of detail I went into to get this collection is amazing. So I will go through that. And then Wednesday, I'm going to do the CEX trading. Hopefully get a 400 pound. Thursday, what am I doing Thursday? Thursday, I feel like I've got stuff going on. No, I'm not. I'm going up to Wandsworth. Uh, I think to go, I think at the moment to go to Gravity, which does this indoor go karting, darts, bowling, uh, arcade machines, pinball machines, etc. So I'm going to spend the day there and just have some fun while I'm on holiday. And then Friday, I'm going up to London. I'm going to hit Forbidden Planet, million percent. I'm going to go to Orbital. I'm going to go to Gosh. I'm going to go to CEX. I'm going to go all these places. Uh, so yeah, definitely check out the videos that will be coming, hopefully this week. But on that note, guys, have a lovely day. Have a lovely week. Uh, be kind to one another. I don't know why I'm saying that. I always struggle with what I'm going to say at the end. Be kind to one another. Sound like someone who's doing like some, you know. But what I always say is, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Leave any thoughts and views in the comments below and stay safe. That's my one. Stay safe. Stay safe.